Good morning. It's time to make Ruru some breakfast. I just took her outside, so. I just put some sockies on. My hair. <laughs> Say, good morning, Will. <laughs> okay. Jeez. 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 She needs her medicine this morning. Little. She has an infection. A mother can always tell when their little girl or baby isn't doing well. Just by the look in their eyes. I knew it. I could just look in their eyes and just see. I just know. And I took her in and lo and behold. Perfection. Alright. So, if your dog has a hard time eating a pill, which my dog... She's the most difficult animal to eat their pill. Sometimes I'm just like, like, I don't even know what to do, but I know what to do now. Like, obviously dogs love cheese, but like my dog is so smart that she knows that it's in between the cheese. So she'll like spit it out. So what I do is I take any kind of cheese, like mild cheddar or whatever, and I put it in my hand and then I melt it with my, like the heat of my hand that way what I can do is I can take the pill and then put it in the middle and just like fold it over and melt it like a sandwich and then she she has no idea that it's inside she's a very very smart dog see so like sandwich should I show you when I give it to her oh yeah I'll just put her down here And fun fact, another fun fact, if your dog also like does that and doesn't eat the cheese quick enough and they like kind of pick it apart, what you can do is give them something and then pretend you drop another something in the other hand so they rush to go get it and they like try to eat it up as quick as possible before you take it away, you know what I mean? NC does a great job at doing that. But now I feel like I don't have to do that anymore because she's good with the cheese. I like breakfast for dinner. I don't know why. Okay, baby girl. Now I'm gonna make your food. What are you doing? We have some chicken from the other day. Oh my god, I'm so sorry you guys, this is hectic. <laughs> like always. too much today she had a lot of food yesterday you don't want that tummy to get all backed up huh my sweet girl
two squash. One. You're so excited for a I know. Sorry, I'm not talking as much as usual. It's just the start of the day, so I'm kind of like, I don't know, winding up. Usually at the end of the day, people say winding down, so I'll just say winding up. I'm just winding up. You know what I mean? I think they say that because of the little dancer in those music boxes, because you have to wind it up first in order for it to work. And then as it's slowing down, it's winding down. I don't know why I'm thinking about that. That's a great tarot card. Hold on. And if anybody steals this idea, I have it on video and I have it posted for anybody else. And people gotta be careful about stealing my uh, my tarot ideas and trying to sell it for cheaper because that isn't gonna fly with me, honey. Okay. I'm being serious on that. It's taken me years and years and years and years to create these decks. So much work has gone into it. Me and my sister are like, oh my God. You guys don't even know how much. I like legitimately, the reason why my cards work so incredibly good is, and I'm not trying to like, be like, oh yeah, my stuff works so good. Like, no, it actually, it works. I sell my stuff because it actually works. And I would never, ever try to sell something if it didn't. But, um, what's it called? I blanked out, so I need that beef roll. All right, Ruby, all right, almost almost done. And people are gonna be like, you shouldn't cut things in that pan. No, no, I know, this is actually a pan for Ruru so I can cut her stuff in it. Because I, um, I have to do this every single day for her, so if I'm doing too many things, I, ha I just have to like get my stuff done during the day, so. Don't fucking judge me for what I'm doing before putting it in a plate and then cutting it and putting it here and then putting it in another plate and then you guys sometimes I can't with the comments I love you guys I love all of you but some people man I just posted a video yesterday about being like mad or not, not mad but like annoyed that somebody was telling me what to do with my tv another person got mad that my dog was squeaking the ball and playing yesterday <clears throat> and a lot of you guys were like oh it's okay don't worry about it we love her I was like I'm so sorry you guys give me one second and this guy like was like I can't, I have ADD. Like, you don't understand, people are going through things. I'm like, what the fuck, again? And this is a different person. Ugh, it's kind of annoying. I'm not mad, it's just annoying. All right, River, your food's ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? 
Pinks is ready. That was good. Gets gets good. All right, bro. Are you ready? <laughs> that looks like a little too much again. Mm. It's just different than dog food because dog food expands in the stomach versus regular food. This one breaks down easier. Dog food's really just designed to keep dogs fuller longer and so people can just feed their animals quickly. But I, my other dog um, lived until she was 17 and a half years old by feeding like human food. So this is what I'm gonna keep doing and for the rest of my life, excuse me. Um, so my animals live a long time. Okay, baby, it's a little dry today because I put it on high by accident. <laughs> I was supposed to put it on low and I didn't notice. That's okay. You love your gourmet meal. Let's show your friends how excited you get. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Hold on, turn around. Turn around. Are you ready? Are you ready? Sit. Kiss mama. Kiss. Don't get mad at me. You have to kiss me. <laughs> Jinx. We don't like to force affection, but in this house, when it comes to Ruru, we love her. And we need love. I need it. I'm gonna take my GI care. Um, high potency. Uh, what's it called? Probiotic. It has. My dog's eating so fast, like she's never eaten in her whole entire life. I can't do that on my dog, so. But honestly, my dog isn't my dog. She's my daughter. She's a human. Cheerios, Cheerios, Cheerios. This thing. So I was like, tilt it down more so we could see the tarot cards, but I can't tilt it down anymore. Otherwise, you guys would be seeing the just black on the table. You wouldn't see anything. The, the phone would fall. It's as far as it goes. Make myself some tea and then I'll do another like video of getting ready with me. So you guys can pick and choose whatever you want to watch. This is gonna be my like the life of I don't know. Chelsea. We're gonna do we're gonna do our own TV show here. 1444 on the timer here. So 44 could be significant for some of you guys. <clears throat> Um, yeah. By the way, if you stuck around this long, I'm gonna pull a couple of tarot cards for you. Just a couple. Whoa! Oh, did you see that? I almost dropped all of these. Okay, ready? Rumor, what are you doing when you're done? Ooh, your angels have been sending you. Mm, can you see that? signs, synchronicities, messages, and they ask that you do what you can to pay attention. And it has to do with the situation that you're unsure about. Whoa. 
That's a, when I tell you, listen to this. I have a bunch of decks in here, maybe one of the same, two of the same. If I pulled this twice out of all of these card cards, the mathematical chance of me actually pulling this card again is so incredibly low. So the fact that you're here still listening means that this message is absolutely for you. This is a clear, clear message. Damn. Your angels are mentioning the winter time. So this is what is going to be approaching for you during the winter. And I'm sorry about my dog. She just loves barking at people outside. Sweetie, I'm sorry, but people get really upset, baby. I know you're having fun. <laughs> Sweetie. <laughs> hey, sweets. Okay, shh, okay, just for a minute. Okay, so the winter time. This is coming in the winter time. You've been waiting for something. You've been really waiting on a manifestation. Your angels have been sending you messages to let you know that it's on its way. There's some kind of settlement, some kind of an agreement that's going to be coming in. I'm not fucking kidding you guys. Did I not just say the mathematical chances of me pulling this out twice, but not look again? This is come see, bleh, I love angels. This is how they give me clarity during my readings. And I'm so, so happy that it came out on camera so you guys can see angels are literally here they're not messing around they are legitimately trying to show us that they're at work here there's a lot of unsure emotions about about your life okay but your angels want you to know there's something coming in during the winter time generous hmm let's see let's see what this is Someone's going to be spying on you online. And as they're doing, certain feelings are building up. Your angels are showing this person is seeing how generous and giving and loving you are to a lot of people around you. And angels are mentioning, after a delay, you are going to be elevating yourself to the next level, okay? So it's like, you're constantly always giving and giving and giving to other people right and then people around you are saying if you keep giving to the wrong people then your manifestations aren't going to come in right um and that could be true for certain people that really could but for you i'm getting this energy of like god wants you to continue to be yourself be your, the best self that you can be and don't let other people's uh, attitude about life change the way that you treat the world around you because that affects the way that you look at yourself your angels are saying that you are elevating yourself to the next level there's new things coming in for you and during the winter time for some reason I'm getting like someone <clears throat> someone could either be <laughs> hey moving or like changing their job situation it's like maybe it's both and that, that decision coming in during the winter time, okay? You guys, I'm not playing. It came out again. Another card came out twice. I'm not, I'm legitimately not. Did I just say moving? Did I just say moving? Did I just say moving and changing your work, your job? Did I just say that? I'm gonna go back. I think I just said that. <laughs> I love doing readings, it's so fun. Oh my God, look at the way that they, they're bringing clarity. Messages, messages, signs, synchronicities that you can not miss that you cannot miss. I'm so glad that you've made it to the end of this video. Holy shit. A move, a change of work, and a whole change up in your routine during the winter time. But somebody's been spying on you. Somebody's really been watching you when you've been throughout this journey of your life. This is incredible. New ahead of time, let's see what this is. 
okay. So, so there's a masculine energy, right? That knew ahead of time of exactly what they wanted, but they still decided to make the wrong decisions and the wrong choice because it seemed easier. But now there is this sense of obsession when it comes to spying over social media. Someone can't get enough. Whoever this person is, they're a very stable individual. They're a good influence in the sense that they would be a good parental figure. And whoever this person is, sham, damn, damn, the more you dive deep within your spiritual situation, there's going to be asking for forever. There's going to be asking for, will you devote and dedicate your life to, to me, to creating something together? There is water sign energy as being significant, so that's Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, and air sign energy as being significant, so that's Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I see that there's this energy of when these two energies are together, it's like a couple that comes off very confident, very assertive, but self-assured, and there's going to be planning on having some kind of conversation with these energies, and it might be like opposites attract type energy. It might not... <clears throat> right away things might not have like picked up speed but that's why a little bit of time apart is necessary and needed so they are showing a reconciliation and some kind of a resolution to have a fresh start together whether that be civil or the, whether that be actually coming back together and just having a conversation to be civil or actually like coming together and oh my god you know what I mean no just kidding just kidding like, like, oh, as a couple, ah, coming together as a couple, not like, oh, sick. Okay, bye guys. I love you so much. That was the great end of the video. If you would like to purchase one of my decks, you can go to my website, chelseamgomez.com. And if you would like to donate to the animal shelter, you can go to the description below. Love you.